just about the time I turned 30 years old, and I learned it because I was in a band, and we were at a little festival in Newport News, Virginia, and right before us was Doug and Frankie Quimby, and we were a four-piece band waiting backstage, and there was another five-piece band waiting backstage, and there was two people in the audience, so we all went out front to make it look and be like an audience, and I was about as far from Doug and Frankie as we are, and he says, okay, everybody, try this, get yourself out like this, and here's how you hand bone, hand bone, hand bone, where you been? Man, I took to it like a duck to water. And um, started adding it, you know, here and there, and I noticed, and he also taught Juba this and Juba that and Juba kill the yellow cat. And I just liked the, the, the style of stuff that it was, and also because it was just your anatomy. There wasn't any strings or bow rehairs to have to do or, you know, th something to carry around. It's just what you had with you. But it was also, for me, um, a really interesting percussive thing. Um, and I've done some dancing, too. I've even danced on stage. So I liked the percussion aspects, and then I started looking into it and finding out that it's a really complex rhythmical thing. And it's sort of ham bone and juba both, those two traditional ones, are the root of jitterbug dance. What they do is they play three over four. So you have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then you sing juba this and juba that and juba killed the yellow cat. So it's polyrhythmic. I think ultimately that appealed to me a lot. And, um, and I just worked at it. I'm, I'm kind of one of those obsessive compulsives. When I, when I like something, I just can't put it down. I always read a book cover to cover. Um, just, just suited my fancy really well. And it's also a piece of comedy, which violin, try as you might, it's hard to make the violin funny. Now in the hands of Wilbur Hall, the great um, comedian of, of violin, it wasn't so hard, but um, it's just not usually considered a humorous instrument. So I wanted something that was funny that I could do when somebody said, we want you to do a concert. Well, I'm largely a dance musician, and dance music doesn't make for a good sit-down concert. It's, in fact, it makes people edgy and nervous, and they don't like it. So, um, so I wanted something that would you know, let them sit down and appreciate what I was doing without being just another fiddle tune. Although I don't personally feel that way about them. I think they're all as unique as every person, but it was neat to have ham bone, and I, so I'd work on it if it was done like this, well, I'd do it over here, and then I'd do it with two of them, and then cross them over, and throw passes, and, and then do them under here, and just to see how I could mix it up to see what was the potential of this thing. You know, and the same with the juba. As simple as it was, I could just try various things to make it more fun to entertain myself more than anything else. And then I believe that if you find something that entertains you, it will entertain other people. Not necessarily all of them, but it definitely entertains children. 